but I'm just like, oh, welcome to day six, the penultimate day of Minecraft Mode Marathon, where I'm uploading as much, okay, or at least I'm trying my best to every single day this week to celebrate hitting 20 million freaking total upload views, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you all so, so much. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what is definitely the coolest mod that I've showcased this week so far, and that is the iPod mod, which, as you'd expect by the name, adds an awesome iPod into Minecraft. Now, uh, in order to craft this bad boy, you need to craft all of these things first, but you know, I imagine that uh, basically everyone who's watching this video is not watching this video because they want to watch someone put items into a crafting table, because that's boring. You guys want to see me play with this iPod and show you all of the awesome stuff it can do. So if you want to check out the crafting recipes, the links are in the description. But anyway, once you've put all of these random pieces of stuff together, then you will get yourself an iPod. And when it's first made, it has no owner, but all you need to do is hold it in your hand, right click, and then uh, if you have a look, you see that the owner is now JackSucksDMC. Obviously, if you right-clicked, it would show your Minecraft name. You can see there that the SD card is 0 out of 0, um, and then opened is 0 times, because it has only been opened. If we open it again, and look now, then you see it has been opened once. Do it again, look now, then it has been opened twice. Um, so yeah, and now we can see our memory, uh, which is what the SD card is, is 4 out of 0. Um, but if we open this, uh, you'll see that the 4 apps that we've got by default are settings. So let's mess around with these and um, so we've got textures so we can change the background to all these different things oh this is so amazing how cool is this um, but it, it looks like you can only go up to what 10 um, and then these are yeah so I think there's only actually uh, 10 different pictures and then after that they're all the same they're all just that pink one uh, which one should we go with so let's go with I don't really like these ones let's just go with a nice yeah let's go with that like nice, nice color one and then screen one and um, you can actually just change the outside of your uh, iPod as well as if it's like an iPhone 5c or whatever and um, which I think is really really awesome and uh, but once again this only goes up to 10 Um, so yeah let's go with that green one now it looks like a tic tac with the green and the orange oh your battery is empty you have to charge your iPod. So fortunately I've got uh, a bunch of charges in my inventory and um, so let's uh, charge that right now and as you can see it has used up a little bit of durability on this charger but now at least our battery is full again which is really really cool. Anyway where were we? Change code. So this is the four digit code that you have to input uh, enter in order to unlock your uh, iPhone or whatever. So if you've watched my what's on my iPhone video, then you'll know my code is 1397. Um, and let's change that. Um, and then if we press the home button, uh, I think... Oh yeah, what I need to do is I need to change code uh, to on. So now if we try and open our iPod, then you'll see that I have to actually input this each time, which is a really, really cool feature. Um, let's turn that off just because it's going to be quite irritating. Um, so then you've also got the add SD card. So let's do that. Um, and this basically gives us more memory. So you see if we hover over this now, um, SD card is 4 out of 2. Um, so let's add another SD card because uh, the apps do actually require a lot of memory. So let's have a look and see what this is now. Um, now it is 4 out of 4. We've also got an information app which basically just gives you some general info about the iPod. Um, so you can change the name of it if you want. Uh, this is the owner obviously. There's the battery and also the iOS version um, which is also the mod version which I think is really cool. And then there's credits to sort of the mod maker. And obviously you can just press the home button just like on a normal iPod. And as you can see the battery uh, runs out so super duper quick just like um, an actual iPod touch then we've just got some info about the mod itself which we don't really need to worry about so let's just go home on that this little dollar sign icon right here is actually the app store um, and you actually buy apps with emeralds which is why I've got emeralds in my inventory so you press this plus to have a look through the different ones so these are apps which we've already got obviously but then if we go along you'll see we've got app music and it costs three emeralds so if we try and buy this you'll see that we don't actually have enough space because we need more SD cards uh, so what we're going to do is if we go back to our settings, actually we need to charge it right now. So let's do that first of all. Charge. There we go. And then let's add all of the SD cards that we've got. So it should use up a bunch of space. So what is this now? SD card is 4 out of 42. So that's good. So we've got loads of space. So now uh, we can buy this. Buy app already bought go to a home and now you can see it's been added to our home screen which is so so cool and basically what this does is it allows you it's basically like having a portable jukebox because you can just play all of the different minecraft uh, songs like whenever you want which i think is really really cool
Next we've got the TNT app, which is really cool. As you can see, it's rather expensive, but let's buy this bad boy. And basically what you can do with this is you can set off TNT in specific coordinates and you can choose how big you want it to be. So these coordinates here are actually our current coordinates. So let's go over somewhere else. Uh, and actually just for the purpose of this, let's go to game mode C so we don't actually kill ourselves. Um, and yeah, let's set off a cool little uh, explosion. So this um, explosion size, Let's make it, yeah, we'll make it 16. I've no idea how big that is. And then um, 20 ticks a second. So I think if we make it, how much will we make it? Yeah, let's go with 20. Um, fire, let's go with on, damage on. And then if we click explode, um, you'll see it's counting down. And we should be able to see an explosion very, very shortly. This is very exciting. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that is really, really cool, and obviously you can uh, choose whatever coordinates you want, which is uh, also awesome. Oh, and we've burnt that cow like Oh, he survived. Oh, not for long. <laughs> Once again, let's charge our iPhone. This uses up so much charge, that is crazy. Um, and go back into the App Store. So what else we got? App World Edit. I haven't actually tried this one. Um, so let's buy the app. I actually don't know what you do this, with this one, so let's find out, I guess. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, position 1. <laughs> it's literally World Edit. That is mental. <laughs> okay, so the World Edit app kind of made my Minecraft react really badly, and then it crashed, and then when I opened it again, there were slime blocks everywhere. Um, I have literally no idea why. <laughs> but like I said, um, actually I didn't say this, we're actually in 1.8 right now, which is really, really cool. Um, so we're using a beta version of Forge, which means there's probably going to be a few issues uh, now and then. So we've also got the weather app, which is awesome. Um, it's kind of different to the real weather app. Um, if we click on this, you can actually turn rain on and off, uh, just like that. And you can also decide whether you want it to be nighttime or daytime or set, you know, a specific time. It's super, du this mod is super duper overpowered. Like, I haven't even begun to show you the crazy stuff that you can do with this, but it's a lot of fun anyway. I'll tell you what we'll do, we may as well just buy every single app while we're here, um, and then we can just showcase them one by one. And there we go, look at all of these apps. We've got a second page that you can get to by using the little button at the bottom here, um, and there we go, these are all of our apps. So this app right here allows you to give yourself any item you want with any sort of enchantments, um, and you can name it whatever you want. So I tried to give myself half a door with Depth Strider 4 enchanted on it, um, but for some reason, when I click give item, nothing actually happens. So I think this could do with a bit of work still. This is a better version of the mod, just remember that. Then we've got this bucket up, which is kind of similar to the other mod, but it uses items that are already in your inventory. So we've got Jack's Hole, which is down here. Um, so if we click duplicate, um, as you can see, it has actually given us a second hole. Let's try and enchant it with something. What should we I want to give it um, sharpness. Yeah, let's give it sharpness. Um, and let's give it sharpness 5 if we can do it. Oh, we need to charge again. <laughs> sharpness 5, do it. And as you can see, we now have a sharpness 5 diamond hole. We've got the portions up, which allows you to give yourself any portion effect in the game. So let's go with jump boost, obviously. Um, time, let's just go with something short, like, uh, yeah, 10, I guess. Level, or uh, 61. And apply. And it didn't work. Interesting. Yeah, it did give us it there, but we need to set it for something way, way longer, like 60. Visible, apply, um, and we've got it for one second, and we didn't make use of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's use these sign blocks. Okay, this should be cool. All right, jump boost, 510, level 100, visible on, apply, and whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is amazing. Make sure I land on the slime blocks. Oh, oh okay, then. Oh no, will my phone still work now it's gotten all wet? I don't know. Next up we've got is the spawn app, which is really cool because you can spawn any uh, mob in the game at any coordinates you want. So let's, seeing as we're in 1.8, let's spawn something like, no not an endermite because it would be angry at me, let's spawn, yeah let's spawn a guardian. So if we click spawn, uh, then look at that, it's a guardian! <laughs> oh, oh it's doing weird stuff to me, that is so creepy. How cool are these mobs though? 
Uh, get get out of here, you little scum. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he's out. He's mad at me. Get away. Let's stay clear of that guy. <laughs> and with that up, you can also spawn the Ender Dragon, which is really, really cool, because it means you can get the Ender Dragon in the overworld in survival, and you can fight him as many times as you want. We've also got this Entities app, and I don't exactly know how this one works, I'll be honest. Um, but we've got Cow here, 53, and I guess I just want to kill these cows, but nothing seems to be happening. Kill all... Oh my god, did you see that? We just killed all of the cows around this area. That was mental. <laughs> then we've got a teleporting app, which, um, as you would expect, allows you to teleport to wherever you want. So let's just change this ever so slightly. And if we teleport, then, as you can see, we teleported. And you can also set specific warps at, uh, like, certain areas, which is really handy as well. Charge, 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 charge. If we move on to the second page, we've got an app which basically just gives you info... Um, like about your player, so like where you are right now, what time of day it is, what your score is, so that would be like how much XP you've got. Then we've got a dice app, which is kind of cool um, for multiplayer, because it allows you to sort of just set random numbers, so it would be sort of guess a number between 0 and 10, and then the first person to guess the number correctly would get like a prize between like you and your friends or whatever. We've also got a spawner app, which is really, really handy, so you can um, create like, what could we create? Let's go with, yeah, let's go with a Betsy spawner set spawner and if we look around as you can see we've now got a mushroom spawner so hopefully we should be able to see some mushrooms spawning real soon although i think it has to be daytime for mushrooms to spawn so if we go into the weather app let's make it daytime oh yeah we've also got the mining app which allows you to sort of actually mine blocks um which is absolutely insane so basically you can mine a ton of blocks without even lifting a, a finger so let's mine um yeah let's mine 35 blocks Click mine, and if we look behind, okay, I think it might actually only work with stone. Um, so let's head over to where there's some stone. And I clicked it, and now, as you can see, we have mined 10 blocks in this way. And uh, like you saw there, you can set it so that it doesn't mine ores automatically. Um, so basically, you could go down to level 12. You could set this to go for something like, um, yeah, if we could do it now, and we set it to, you know, 70 blocks... And we go skip ores off, then we mine, then you get all of this, and look at that, how handy is that? Charge, 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 charge. Few apps left now, we've got this one, you need a gold nugget to roll. And um, we've got gold nuggets right here though, so we should be able to do that. Um, and this is kind of like a little gambling app, um, so let's roll, and basically it's just, you will get, uh, you'll get like free stuff. If you manage to match up three uh, things in a row. So let's just clear our inventory so that you can see it happen if we do manage to get anything. Okay, roll. 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 We are being very unlucky. Come on, we just need three in a row of the same number. Um, as you can see in our hotbar, it is using up um, each gold nugget one at a time. And there you see we've got four, four, and four. So we got ourselves a diamond for that. So that's really cool. There's also a bed app which allows you to kill yourself, heal yourself, and set your spawn as well as your experience level, which is amazing. So let's do this. And as you can see, we've given ourselves eight levels. We've also run out of charge. So let's charge that up right now. Then we've also got an inventory app, which is really, really cool. And basically, if you've got um, sort of a crafting bench or a chest or a furnace within 100 blocks of you, you can actually uh, access it without having to be right by it, which is really, really cool. I'm trying to think how many times I've said really, really cool. I feel like it's way too many, so I'm really sorry about that. There's also a calculator app, so we can do like simple maths and stuff, which is awesome. And then finally, we've got the question app, which you've seen already. It's basically just info about the mod. So how freaking amazing was this iPod mod, guys? Like, that is definitely by far the coolest mod that I've showcased so far this week. So I thank you all so much for watching this. Um, I think this is absolutely incredible, and the fact that it's 1.8 is also absolutely awesome. So if you want to check out the mod for yourselves, then please do um, click the link in the description to download it, as well as find out what the crafting recipes and all that stuff is. Um, it would be awesome if you could also, while you were down in the description, leave a like on this video, because this is a really, really cool mod, and I had a lot of fun uh, making this video. So yeah, stay tuned for the final episode of Mod Mario. Marathon, which will be out tomorrow, as well as my Q&A vlog thing. And I just got a notification. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Where's my Sharpness 5-4? There we go. Um, my name is Jack, and I shall see you guys next time. <laughs>